All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And on today's episode, we are gonna get this shop pushed forward as far as we can. Um, Aaron's gonna troubleshoot the plasma table, get that cutting. We're gonna cut a big sign out to put right there, big jackknife motors. What do you guys think about that? Uh, then we're gonna put the uh, fabrication table together. Aaron's gonna teach me how to weld. Uh, don't worry, we're gonna keep my welds under the table. But then we're gonna put the fabrication table together, like I said, and once all that work's done, we're gonna jump over to the 94 Chevy. Aaron promised me it would be moving today. He didn't promise me to be running, he promised me to be moving. So we either get this thing running, get it moved out of the way, or we get it moving to the junkyard. So we got a lot of work to do. Can't wait to do it. Let's get started. Oh, what a dude. That's, that's the number one thing not to do is miss. That's how we do it, boys. Why no fuel? Ain't no fuel. The table stays flat because you have so much support. So as you snap these things together, bolt, they just yeah. sit flat. And once you help me line that girl up, we'll have plates running this way and we'll have plates running this way. And as we do this, we'll get them all snapped together and we'll clamp these plates to the face of this plate to make sure they do sit flat with each other. This is all CNC laser cut, so it, it's pretty damn true. And that's essentially how this design keeps these tables flat while you build them out. These are from a company called Weld Tables or CertiFlat. Um, to me, it's one of the best market, or tables on the market just because of the price point and they work. I mean, you could do anything. The fixturing is unlimited. You get a 16 millimeter, I believe, or 5 8 uh, bolt holes. Um, I think they're on two inch spacing, which is a pretty standard deal. Yeah, they're awesome. You're gonna learn how to build one today. Yay! Yeah, I've always wanted to build one of these. My goal is to have it to where you could use the welder just like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's my goal too. One of my goals during all this content that we're gonna be making is. I'm gonna grab a hammer too, just so Aaron is to going to. Uh, for lack of better explanation, he's gonna turn me into a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's a little, oh, there we go. That's kind of why I grabbed these uh, boom booms, just in case we have to do some. Tappies? Yeah. Like, sometimes the plates just like flex like this too, so it'll be like one in the middle that you have to like push and hold. Well worth every penny. I mean, just starting out, guys, we'll just build, you know, flat tables that you can't really clamp to, and then they'll like tack you know, their parts to them and do what they can. But uh, these are these are pretty awesome because you can clamp any part of the table in the middle, whatever, and uh, you don't have to weld to your table. It keeps a nice flat surface. Thank you, sir. This part, I think, is going to be the... Uh, like it's hung up on that one. Yeah, I got it. Ah! Watch <laughs> your finger. Uh, ah! Ah, Dude, you gotta watch your Gilgans. See all this right here? You see how like this is up? Yeah. And these are. You gotta tap these yeah. down. So if go right through. Here. Definitely up a little bit. Oh, no. Yep, we'll clamp the center up and in. So what do we do now? Once we, do we turn it over? We're gonna clamp them. You know, there's gonna be certain areas, I think on that side, it's uh, pulling away from the structure, but we'll uh, clamp them up, tack them, get a few little passes welded throughout all these, and then uh, then we'll flip it over. You're, like into the You're gonna have to start with somewhere else other than just go slow. <laughs> <laughs> on something like this, let's go completely perpendicular to the weld joint. So your weld joint is essentially 45 yeah. off of each of these, right? Yeah. So don't hold your gun like this. Don't hold your gun like this. Right there, perpendicular to your weld joint. And just run it down. Work it in the weld joint. And you you can slowly start f like feeling out your puddle manipulation. Your biggest thing is to stay right there in the root and then to be able to watch the toes, which are each end, wet into this material. You'll see it in the hood. You'll see it 
grow, and then you can slowly move and just let it grow. I like the sound of that. Oh, did it sound like you buried the tip right off the rim? No, I don't. Oh, you don't miss. I missed it. I, I literally missed <laughs> that's, it. That's the number one thing not to do is miss. <laughs> Should I weld again? It's fine. It's Got about halfway through setting up this uh, welding table, and Aaron reminded me that I might need some PPE gear, so we went and picked some up. I won't burn my arms, or my eyeballs, or my hands. I got gloves. Important to keep yourself safe, so let's get back at it. So we're trying to get the plasma table up and going. We're, uh, we just got the air compressor hooked up outside. Finally got power ran to it. We got tied into all the airlines in here. So now we're gonna hook up everything to the plasma table, to the computer, and then start running through. We might have to adjust the table, adjust micro switches, a few other things to get it up and going. That's one goal for today. The next goal for today is to finish the fabrication table over here. Um, Cole's been uh, learning how to weld on it. It's uh, it's coming out nice, very nice. Uh, we're gonna have to put the sides on it, flip it over, and then put the lay kits together, put the casters on, all that stuff. It's take us a couple hours. Uh, that's our goal for today. Just get these two things up and going so we can just check them off our list and we'll move on to the next part of the shop. All right, so we're putting water in the table right now. We're gonna end up adding another uh, additive to this just so it doesn't freeze and so it stays cleaner. But for now, we're gonna get water in it, we're gonna get the level up as high as we can get it, and then get the table leveled. Don't have water over at the shop yet, so we gotta take this trash can, fill it up with water many times, take it over to the shop, empty it out onto our plasma table, so we can cut some stuff off. That's how we do it, boys. He's pretty good at that. Oh, I was just going to use the air. Yeah, but I'm a pro. I mean, by all means. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so I think we got the plasma table all set up. We'll find out here in a second. We're just uh, test running a quick logo we put together, see what happens. Welding shirt. Thanks, Bad Birdie. All right, we're about to tip this uh, table over. We got a piece of angle iron mounted onto the side of the table. We're going to use the overhead lift, and uh, hopefully nothing breaks because this lift has not been inspected in looks like 10 plus years. So here we go. <laughs> Friday morning, uh, we're 
finishing up welding up some of the legs on this welding table so we can uh, move it over here safely and clear up some more room in the shop um, got the shop all clean we're starting to get tools laid out uh, we're at a point where now we could probably bring something here and work on it um, figured the best thing to do is go grab that old truck that was in the paint booth and see if we can get it running one computer in stock better hope no one came and got it this morning there's a possibility that someone could have came and got this morning. Why? Because they're constantly failing every like five years. Yeah. Uh, why wouldn't this make sense for me? Like the shifter's worn out. I need some new like traction on my pedals so my foot doesn't slip. What's your opinion, Aaron? All right, we got our engine control module back at the uh, back at the shop. I'm really excited to get into this thing. Hey man, this doesn't look like the same thing. I hate ordering parts. I hate getting parts. Because I never get the right thing. And this doesn't look like the right thing. Really frustrating going to AutoZone and coming back and trying to find this engine control module. But I have good news. We finally got the right engine control module. The one they gave us didn't have the right plugins right here. Uh, so we couldn't use it. I returned it and got this one. So we got a new battery, new fuses. We need a new door. That one squeaks and it's dented. Um, if we get this running, what should we do with this? Um, I hope that I just get to drive it a little bit. But if we get it to the point where it looks nice and it's cool, would you want it? Let me know in the comments. I really think... Somebody might enjoy this truck. And I'm really pumped. Like this control module thing is just pretty simple to put together. Just two clips. And then, uh, yeah. Oh. So now that we got that in, I'm gonna go grab Aaron and uh, Tyson and those guys. They've been really excited to see if this thing will work. So we'll see. Alright Aaron, do you think this uh, this is it? Got a new battery, we got a good ECM uh, module, we got new fuses, we got new... What else have we done? A new fuel pump. We have to check grounds too. We have a lot of stuff to still check. Okay. My goal is just to replace the whole truck before it actually runs. Brand new truck? Yeah, like every part. That's the best way to get a brand new truck. That is, just replace every part well, on the whole truck and it becomes a brand new one. <laughs> All right, go try it. Transitions. Sounds a lot better. No, uh, ain't no fuel though. Still no fuel. Why no fuel? Ain't no fuel. <laughs> so I'll go hit the ignition, and then if it squirts fuel, that means we're good, right? Yeah, I should be able to open it. Should have fuel pressure as soon as you. Can we win? Just turn the key on. Turn it on? Just leave it on. There you go. Key on. Okay. Uh, well, it's not buzzing, so. Uh, it only runs for like two seconds. Fuel pump? Pump's not running, no. Yeah, I know. It just comes on for two seconds. The injectors are fine. On and off then? Yeah, cycle the key on again. So it'll just see. That. That it squirts a little fuel. In. Yeah. So. Injectors are working. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> 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 yeah. I told you. I told you. I told you. Those were just stuck. Yeah. They were gummed up. Yeah. Got a good daily driver, I think. Huh? <laughs> Congratulations, you're the owner of a TBI injector. It's no 90 better Chevy. than it was five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those things were just gummed up. That's all it was. Now right? the engine runs. I couldn't be more excited, everybody. You're so this is, I, uh, Wait, dude, this you thing go. fooled Robbie Layton and Jim and me yeah. and everybody. We had, were sweating in there trying to get this thing started. Aaron came up one time. We went to AutoZone how many times? Three times. At least. Well, it was that and dude on YouTube that commented that. Yeah. Our fix, basically. Yeah, so hit, fix it, hit it with a 9-volt, we hit it with a 12-volt. So but. thank you, comment on YouTube. Uh, hit it with the 9-volt, hit it with some power, and uh, it ended up working. So 
I couldn't be more excited about this. And these guys couldn't be more We're so unexcited. Excited. We're so stoked. <laughs> We're so I happy. I love this for you. I'm so proud. I don't, we don't have to go under the ground anymore. Honestly, do, do not know what I'm going to do with this now. But uh, it's got a project to have it, from what I would think. But I'm maybe so I'm working angry. on this Listen. in the corner while you guys are working on real projects. I'm so thrilled I don't have to move with the forklift anymore. That's it. <laughs> you guys are negative. No! <laughs> we are so happy. <laughs> you guys are as negative as it gets. We just got this thing running. I know, I'm stoked. It is cool to get it running. Yeah. It was just frustrating getting there. It was. <laughs> Aaron, you're not. You're still not excited enough. I, I'm excited enough. I'm so excited enough. It just scattered a Thank bunch you. of crap for freaking Woo! 50 yards. Yeah. Doesn't smell like great fuel, but. Yeah. Go pick up Dave. Pass.